Hello everybody, Whisker Fear here, and I hope you all are having a great summer. And I am here to show you where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Uh, this is a game that I also played when I was a kid. It was released in 98, I think. And it's a fun way to learn geography, though I'm still not very good in geography, so... But we'll see how I do in this game. It's been a while since I played it. But anyway, uh, like everything, uh, like every game I show on here most of the time, uh, the first thing you do is type in your name. So, let's do that. Now, I assume you're familiar with the, you know, Carmen Sandiego series. It was a TV show. It was two TV shows on PBS. And, and so here we'll get a briefing from the chief. Hello and welcome to Acme. I'm the chief, but you can call me, well, the chief. We're in the business of tracking down thieves, and we're ultimately after one, Carmen San Diego. Every creep we've ever collared has been working for her. Now, when you report for duty, I assign you a case. You go to the scene of the crime and look for clues about where the crook took the loot. Then the chase begins. Any bystander is a potential witness who can point you in the right direction. When you finally catch up with the crook, you've got to bust him. But remember, you can't arrest a crook without a warrant. And you can't get a warrant if you don't know what the crook looks like. Now, I could tell you lots more, but the best way to learn a job is on the job. So, yep. are you ready for your first case? Let's get started. Gumshoe, the folks in Korea are itching to see ya, cause somebody swiped their kimchi. They eat that tangy cabbage concoction alongside virtually every meal. But this morning, someone stole the recipe. Soul food just won't be the same till you get the recipe back. Go to it. All right. Kamisaki ga jigum. So now we got we got to fly there. Oh. All right, so here we are in South Korea. And you see these people walking around. They will give you clues as to where the person is and what they look like, which is how you issue your warrant. You'll also see some papers lying around sometimes, like this, that will also give you a clue. Okay, so they take photos. So that tells me that they are wearing a camera. And this is your warrant, by the way. When you fill in all these five criteria, you can then issue the warrant, and then you can go search for the criminal. What's on your mind? So talk to this guy first. Tell me about the sub uh, the suspect. His stature was unexceptional. Okay, I believe that means he was short, but I'll make sure. Oh, hello. His locks blended into the starless night sky. Yep. That means he has black hair. Greetings. His bouffant was as dull and dark as charcoal. Hmm. Do you need assistance? He probably didn't have to alter his clothes to match his height. Hmm. Maybe that means medium height. But I'll wait on that. So now we're out of people to ask, so now we'll find out where he went next. What's on your mind? This is what I had trouble with, because again, I'm not very good in geography. If you ask me, he's enjoying an alpine reverie somewhere south of Germany. Hmm. Somewhere south of Germany, well, that will give you, that gives you a good idea. Oh, hello. What does this guy say? 
He told me his taste in music ran mostly to Mozart, with a smattering of Strauss and a helping of Haydn. Huh. Okay, let's take a look here. And we got six different areas to choose from. And we gotta select the right one from the clues that people give. Let's try Austria. Herzlich willkommen zu deiner Reise. In Österreich erklingen die Berge voller Musik. Those bumbling janitors. They must have been cleaning up after your crook. Good tracking. Mm, very nice. I picked the right one. It's very rare. Okay. Oh, hi. It asks for more information. He could afford to gain a few dozen pounds. All right. So that means he's thin. What's this note say? Black hair. We already got that down. What do you need? His tresses were black as night. Same clue? Oh. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go through this anyway. We can read this. This is a multilingual detective. He always has a better chance of tracking down international thieves. That's why I'm placing Acme Global Language. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. In countries around the globe. Brush up on your languages as you travel. If you demonstrate your translation ability, you'll gain enough energy to activate a Find a Thief satellite search, which may uncover a vile agent lurking nearby. So this is just basically just a language test, you know, how you say things in the languages. How do you say? Seven. In German. Ja. Sieben. Zehn. Of course I have no idea. Uh, but I'll just say... Zehn. No. Oh. Eh, that's what I thought it was, because it kind of started with the S, right? Sieben. Alright, well I suck at that. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. Let's get more clues about this thief. Welcome. He kept everything in focus. That's the camera clue. I think there's one guy here. Good day to you! His height was pretty basic. Okay, well I think that means that his height was medium. You know, not too short, not too tall. So I think this is all correct, so I'll now issue the warrant. And... There we go, the warrant is now issued, and now we just have to find the crook at the last destination. So where do they go now? Oh, hi! He laughed and said, I'm off to Havana to eat a fried banana! Havana... Hmm. What do you need? He was last seen seeking swine in the Bay of Pigs, but found only sand. The Bay of Pigs. Now, I've heard of these things, but I still can't remember exactly where they're at. Maybe some of you know. You're probably yelling at the screen right now. Good day to you! He told me that he wanted to write his name on the restaurant wall at La Badagita in Old Havana. Yeah, it's Havana. Okay, now again, I have no idea where this is, Havana, um, and the pigs, uh, this could be any place. So I'll just pick one out of random and just see which one is correct. El vuelo 415 está a punto de salir para Cuba. Que disfrute del vuelo. And this is the right one, actually. <laughs> if 
If you want to learn more about a location, try calling up one of the Acme Good Guides, who can give you a tour. If you do, you can call back that Good Guide later to help check over your warrant. And by the way, this, uh, this red little, this little red bar down here, uh, that's your power, basically. Every time you talk to somebody or travel somewhere, this, this red line drains. And you have to catch the thief before this red line drains all the way down, or else you will lose the case. So now in the start of the game, you get, you know, you don't have to go to as many places, so you're allowed more mistakes. But later in the game, you, you gotta be more accurate. You can't make as many mistakes. Alright. Hello, may I be of service? Where did they go? He was hoping to hitch a ride down the Nile on a Felucca. The Nile, nah, I should know where the Nile River is. What saying? He said that the Suez Canal was the best way to get from the Med to the Red. I think I know where that's at. But f first, uh, let's... Uh, since we're here in Cuba, uh, let's request a tour guide for here, and he will show us around. Well, he or she. And is it she? Lovely to see you. I'm Diplomacy, your special envoy here. Allow me to fill you in on the political subtleties of this lovely locale. So let's listen in as... Here we are in Paseo de Marti. Marti Street, if you don't speak Espanol. It's named for Jose Marti, probably the greatest hero of Cuban independence. Marti was a poet and writer whose works inspired readers to revolution. It just goes to show you, it's ideas that really change the world. Hmm. Very interesting. Malacon Plaza along the beach has a fascinating combination of modern buildings, ancient houses, and big flamboyant hotels from the 1950s when Cuba was a gambling paradise for American tourists. The U.S. banned tourism to Cuba after the communist revolution of 1959, but Malacon is still a favorite hangout for many who love the sea. I can show you more if you'd like. Let's go on. I hear more information. I like information. Here on Havana Bay is one of the biggest forts in the Caribbean, Moro Castle, built back in 1610 by the Spanish. Spain controlled Cuba on and off for almost 400 years, building huge fortresses like this one. They trusted big walls and big guns more than they trusted negotiation. Here's Castillo de la Punta, one of Havana Bay's huge Spanish fortresses. Of course, Cuba's been independent from Spain since 1899, but the country is still on the defensive. It's not exactly chummy with its non-communist neighbors in the Western Hemisphere. Isn't it sad how we focus on our differences, but not on our similarities? Tell me more. See that huge statue on top of the marble temple mm -hmm. next to Castillo de la Punta? That bronze horseman is none other than General Maximo Gomez, leader of Cuba's troops in their war of independence from Spain. You might say he's the George Washington of Cuba. I see. Here we are in Paseo de Marti. Marti Street, if you don't speak Espanol. It's named for Jose Marti probably the greatest hero of Cuban independence. Marti was a poet and writer whose works inspired readers to revolution. It just goes to show you, it's ideas that really change the world. Okay. I think we've heard everything now, so we'll say goodbye. Yes, perhaps you should shuttle on to your next stop. I'll stay here and see what other facts I can discreetly gather.
Give me a call on the video phone if you're in need of DigiSketch help. Alright. Let's move on to the place I think the thief is at next. I could be wrong, but let's go here. is Egypt. So now we already got a warrant issued, so all we gotta do is just find out where he went next. Come on. Come over here. Good afternoon. He said east of Norway, a traveler's rewards include another country with forests and fjords. Hmm. Let's get another. Yes, what he said Stockholm was the perfect place for a vacation because you can go island hopping without even leaving town. Hmm. Let me get one more clue. Why, hello! He claimed that a craving for meatballs was one reason why he was heading for Scandinavia. Scandinavia, I should know this. I mean, I've heard, I've heard of these areas before. It's been a while since I've actually found out where they were. Okay, well I got two ideas in mind. So if one's not right, I'll just go to the other. You'd better work fast, and here's why. Carmen is coming to collect the loot. You need to find and bust the crook before the handoff. Alright, well here we are. So this is where the thief is at. So we gotta use our um, warrant here to find the match. And I think we already found it. But let's look at the others first. Okay, it's not him. It's not him not her. So yes, this is definitely... Hello, stranger! This is definitely the dude. So now we say, Stop, thief! You are under arrest. Hey, I'm caught, and I have to cash it in, but the smart money's still on Carmen. Newsmaker and a crime breaker. Good work. You've landed less cash in the cooler. Less and his finances will be frozen for a long, long time. We went through hours of questioning with no luck. But just before the cell door slammed shut, we heard the crook shout, I'll steal the planet's treasures till there's nothing precious left. Hmm. Code, perhaps. I'm faxing it to you for further reference. Unfortunately, other crooks are loose and lifting loot. Can you take on another case for me? Okay, well, I'll stop here. Um, that is, I'm surprised I got all those locations correct. Uh, well, those were easy, too, uh, so I was lucky. Uh, but anyway, this is Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? I got the actual disc, and... That's what I was using to play the game that I had as a kid. And it's a very fun way to learn geography. So, yeah, it's pretty cool.
But anyway, again, this is Whisker Fear, and and uh, you all have a great day.